Bonjour du monde and welcome to Musings of a Fox. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Gabrielle. Welcome to my channel. I am bringing you my long-awaited winter 2019 slash 2020 lookbook. I've been filming this over a couple weeks, hence why none of this footage has my new hair color. Also, hi, welcome to my new hair color. Um, we're calling this Chicka Cherry Cola points, if you get the reference to that. I've been filming these videos over the last few weeks because instead of just a lookbook where I could just stand away place and just twirl around in outfits or be in my living room and twirl around in outfits I wanted to show you guys me out in the world because with this channel I don't want to just show you cute clothes or what I hope you guys think are cute clothes I want to show you a human wearing what makes them feel good out in the world thriving because that is the one thing that so many people are trying to take away from plus size bodies clothing and the style that makes us happy and thriving and just living our best life or at least the best life that we we can <laughs> best life that we got right now okay we're trying to start 2020 optimistically but it's it's been a bit of a week we're only a week in and it's been a whole dang week just, my mission is to show you guys what makes me feel good and hope that either maybe these clothes make you feel good too or inspires you to find something like this that makes you feel good i'm not trying to sell you these clothes none of these these brands give a dang that I am wearing them I'm just showing you what has made me feel so good and the most like myself recently I've been kind of going through this thing of just really trying to find the pieces and the brands that make me happy and feel like recognized and seen and loved and that is these clothes <laughs> plus an honorable mention because I forgot to film it so we're just gonna show you photos of me in it cuz I cuz I boo-booed real bad. So there's five outfits in video and one um, very, very honorable mention. So let's just get into it, shall we? Usually for these videos I save like a big amazing outfit for the piece de resistance, but these are all kind of my piece de resistance. I wouldn't be bringing you a lookbook if these weren't the pieces that made me feel my best, but I'm just starting off with like the whole outfit together that is just I wore it so many times because I can't stop wearing it because it just makes me feel so good. And it's very attention grabbing in its fluffiness. So I bring you this full head to toe torrid outfit. Um, the beautiful blush teddy bear coat, this eggplant skater dress, these cute little faux Sherpa booties, and a belt that unfortunately I got several years ago from Torrid, but Torrid honestly has the best belts that like fit around a plus size waist. They're just, I have another outfit that also has a Torrid belt and it's also old, but that's how my Torrid clothes are. I just get them and then I wear them for a very long time because Torrid always holds up for me except for the inner thighs of my favorite jeans. <laughs> um, but I just fell in love with this outfit. I really love blushes and dark eggplants together. They really give each other their own moment. The jacket is really wonderful at framing the skater dress and then the skater dress also gives a great contrast to the blush teddy coat. I'm obsessed with this coat. It is a very flashy coat. Every time I wear it, someone goes like, oh, hello coat. So like, it's not, it's not subtle. It's not subdued. People are going to notice and they're going to talk to you about it. And sometimes people are going to kind of want to rub on you, which is disconcerting to say the least, but I get it. It, you just want to know what that feels like. And it feels like your favorite teddy bear. It feels kind of like chinchilla-esque. It's so fluffy and just, I just sometimes like when I'm like in a stressed out mode and I don't have the cats around, I just stroke the coat. It just feels that lovely. I also am a sucker for a skater dress. I have a lot of skater dresses from Torrid. That's the style that I feel best highlights my body. If you're new here, hi. I'm a funnel. That's kind of the way I describe myself, or like a really long plunger. I have very broad shoulders, and then everything's kind of squarish, and then I then funnel. So it's just, I'm not, I'm not an apple. I'm not like truly busty enough to be an apple. I'm just kind of like a square with an upside down triangle on top. 
but I like myself. I'm good with it. It's fine. I've learned how to work it and what makes me feel the most comfortable. And skater dresses are great because they're fitted and then they flare. And they're just so much fun, like, skirt to twirl in. For me, it helps with, like, the silhouette that I prefer. Um, that's how I, that's how I frame things. It's not about your shape and flattering your shape. It's about the silhouette you're trying to create. And I like to create a really kind of medieval maiden, big booby, thick waist, and thick hips. So everything is just thick and I like to just make you look at the thickness. Get down with the thickness. I just love the silhouette because wearing them like right under my boobs also like really highlights my boobs and I love that. I'm embracing the fact that I'm a busty gal and it feels great to just have this belt like right there being like hello. Um, I feel very like viking queen in it too. It's just it yeah I just I love a good skater dress. Um, uh, it's also, you know, the thing, match your belt with your shoes. And these little Sherpa booties are so cute. I'm actually going to go buy them in black tomorrow with my Hope Cash because it it needs to happen. I need all the colors of this boot. And Tor just makes really fantastic boots. They last a really long time. I put my Tor boots through the paces and they always hold up. So they are just a great get, um, especially now that Payless, RIP Payless, uh, <laughs> isn't around anymore. I've really found the high quality of Tor to be a great deal. We're going to step away from Tor for a moment. Trust me, we will be back at Tor because Torrid is a lot of plus size folks as best friends. So, but let's let's highlight one of the brands that I have talked about a lot here on the channel, and that is City Chic. City Chic also has killer deals. Frequently, several times a year, they have a twenty nine dollar jean deal. Um, that is when I snag these for Black Friday. But they do it multiple times a year. They are always running fantastic sales on the City Chic website. It was my first time buying City Chic jeans, and I love them. Um, I have another style similarly later on in this video. Just a little more distressed from Torrid so it just gives you like two different places to get jeans. Um, what I really love about these jeans from City Chic is that they are designed a little more for folks who are not as like hipped and butted. I don't have super curvaceous hips. I don't really have a butt. So these jeans make me feel really good. The muscles of my calves are really highlighted and highlights my thighs making them look really powerful and I just love these like harsh distressed black jeans with this feminine sweater that are with these softest like velvety polka dots over the kind of like sheer overlay and just a really nice feminine touch to what can be a fairly like masculine outfit and so I just love kind of mixing the hard and the soft. Those boots are torrid. You will see them a lot because they have been my black boots for winter. They are super high heeled so I don't quite recommend trudging through the mud and wet ground with them but it was a look. I will probably be wearing this outfit until it gets too hot in the Bay Area and I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Since I just showed you those jeans from City Chic, let me show you a similar style in Torrid and that is the sky high jeans that I featured in my Torrid try on haul um, where I just try on all the skinny jeans that Torrid makes and these are the ones I told you that I just really loved. They're really comfortable. They're one of my favorite jeans. I really love the little distress bits. I've always been one of those people who's like, I'm not going to buy jeans that are already damaged. Why would I do that? I was wrong. I love damaged jeans. These are amazing. <laughs> um, they just have a, like, a kind of rocker edge that I really love. When I was younger, I used to really shrink and try and hide the fact that I have broad shoulders. But as I have matured and gotten older and just like really fallen in love with my body. Um, I really love anything that just highlights this space. If I'm just going to have this expansive billboard space, I might as well put something pretty on it. And so I really love kind of lattice work. I think I look like a delicious slice of like wintergreen apple pie. I don't know. Ignore me, sort of. <laughs> But I just really love this sweater. I really love green when I have pink hair. It's just a really beautiful, they offset each other really beautifully. Again, with the crazy boots. Love these crazy boots. They just go with every just black outfit that I want to have a little bit more. Um, spice. These are my like, hello, look at my leg, I'm so elongated. Um, <laughs> this was filmed in a local park. Oakland has like the most amazing parks. And I'm just having so much fun just going on adventures to do shoots instead of just staying in the same like spot for all the outfits. I'm just really having fun just going out and then just, you know, soaking in people's reactions to this bright cotton candy pink head bopping around. Um, you know, feeling like any other Instagram model wannabe. 
type person. It's just really fun to get to feel my oats in public. It's just kind of a little bit like, yep, I really do feel like I'm worth documenting because we all are. Everyone is worth documenting and savoring every moment. You're all worthy of getting out there and documenting your style. Please, if you go out and you have fun, you're just having a day where you really feel yourself, will you tag me on Instagram? Because I want to see it. So let me know. I'm using the fox. Tag me. I will comment. Anyone who puts themselves out there in the world as their selves deserves tons and tons of heart emojis and <laughs> and fire emojis and I will send them all your way. For our last pair of jeans of this video, it is a, another pair of Tory jeans, again with the cute little Sherpa booties. Uh, these are also the sky high cut. I've just been really loving that kind of jean lately. Um, I used to just kind of wear them a little bit lower, like just at kind of my belly button and I always felt really bisected by them. And so I feel just a lot more supported. I have better posture in the sky highs. So that is me in the sky high. And this is me in yet another sweater. As a knitter, it is very hard to knit a sweater in cables and make it well shaped for your body. So if I can buy it and it can be Outlander, that's really great for me because that's a lot of work, like a lot of work and like hundreds of dollars to buy all the yarn to make a sweater like that. So thank you Torrid for all your machines. I really love this sweater. It's just so detailed. The pattern on the front is mimicked on the back. There's pockets and it's just a really comfortable sweater. I love a hood. I always want to feel like, you know, like a Disney princess who's escaping through the woods. That that's not how it kind of looks when I have the hood up. Light colored jeans are really lovely for winter because with these light jeans you kind of highlight yourself and be like, here I am. This is where, this is where I, these are my boundary lines. <laughs> like you're like drawing a map of yourself, a beautiful curvaceous map. And then this beautiful detailed sweater that really attracts people's eyes and kind of just makes them look a little bit longer. I'm just in this mode where I'm just kind of like, I'm going to make you look and I'm going to give you all the details to just soak it all in. I just feel like a really classic kind of like winter girl in this outfit and so that just that's always a good moment for me. So here is the honorable mention moment that I'm still kicking myself for. We went up hoping that there would still be some light left and we got some great shots but we ended up not taking video and I didn't realize it until I sat down to make this video. I didn't have video to go with this dress which is just so heartbreaking because I've been really wanting to talk about this brand on camera and I have failed to do that yet. This is a dress from Zali for She. Zali for She is a US LA based brand and I love the clothes they make. I have worn several different outfits through the season from this designer. I have a really great soft kind of, it's kind of like a sack dress, but it comes with a sash so that you can like define yourself wherever you'd like to define yourself. It is so comfortable. It's such a beautiful color. I also wore a dress of hers in Hawaii for my anniversary dinner. It is made of stars and it was amazing. And she also kind of like her good name. And and like it's just a really it was like a witch's dream kind of a dress she does things that are your own kind of sexy and then there's some like overt just like hello this is a sheer dress and here's my hot purple bra <laughs> at least that's how I wore it and so here is a kind of bodycon mustard turtleneck dress from her I love it I'm so sorry I don't have footage of it but it is a great dress. I have really fallen in love with mustard ever since um, I started having pink hair several years ago. Mustard and pink are just this beautiful delicious like mm, yes. Like sitting just off to me is like a different mustard thing because I just love this color combo. It's so good. So unfortunately I do not have movement of this dress. But it's a really good dress, I promise. So that's my honorable mention of Sleeve She, an amazing plus size only, plus size only brand that is American made and fairly wallet friendly. She does have some pieces. I have splurged and spent over $100 on a piece, but I have managed to get most of my pieces in the $40 to $50 range on sale. So for American made, that's a super steal. I pretty much wear an extra large in her stuff. That is the smallest size she makes in XL. Everything I've ever purchased from her has been in XL, but right now she is just killing it with beautiful, unapologetic plus size designs. And so I just want to give her a little shout out. I'm super excited to close out this video with this dress from another brand I'm so excited to talk about, another American made brand. I'm, I'm showing you guys, I'm trying, I'm working on it. I am mixing it up besides just our, you know, fast fashion favorites. I am finding new American designers that we can afford. So this is 
Foxblood. This is a dress from Foxblood. Their whole thing is that all the clothes are black. It is, their slogan is for babes who wear black, and so everything is black. Every design is black. It definitely has a goth thing, but all of their stuff is street size and plus size. Everyone gets to wear the same stuff, and I really love that because I kind of hate when I feel relegated to like the backside of a brand's website, but with Foxblood, everybody is front and center. They are very focused on also expanding what the image of a like witchy goth babe is. Diverse body shapes, diverse skin tones, diverse hair colors. It's just a mixture of amazing folks who just love to wear black. It's not one style of goth. This is just a really cute simple skater dress that is called the Nissa dress. I did belt it with a belt from Torrid. Um, I do wear it like I wore it today actually to work without the belt but I do just love a pop of color amongst all this black that kind of complements my hair but doesn't matchy matchy with my hair and so it's a nice burgundy belt that popped with my more bubblegummy pink hair at the time. So the dress is fox blood. The belt is torrid. The knee high thigh highs, depending on how you want to wear them, are from Sock Dreams. I really love them. I found them after watching a video from Margot Meany, who's another great alternative plus size babe. And I, I'm, I'm so obsessed. These actually can go like all the way up to my mid thigh and they held up really well. Again, with those really high-heeled boots from Torrid. But the best piece of this outfit is this amazing purse. I wanted to show you the purse on video so you can kind of get like a really good idea of how big it is. It's like the size of my giant head. This is my amazing cauldron purse. This is a collab between Foxblood and a, I believe an LA artist who makes bags and accessories and so they partnered with them. This is a pricey baby, I'm not gonna lie. This bag, very on brand, is $66.60, which is a which is a gouch price, but again, it is local made. It's not made in China. It is a very well constructed bag. Oh my god. Okay, I had gingerbread from Pete's Coffee in here the other day. It smells so good. So I just really love this purse. Being that this is an expensive purse, I do want to be fully honest that you know what I did? I afterpaid this. This is not an ad for afterpay. I'm just letting you know that Foxblood has afterpay so you can condense these things into affordable like bite-sized bits. It's just nice to finally kind of find my witchy style. I mean I do love lace and glamour and things like that but I kind of just want to be like a workwear witch sometimes. I just love that this is just a really beautiful made super soft, such a soft cuddly dress. It's the kind of dress that like you just wear the whole day. You, I've even slept in it a few times because it's just so comfortable and I just love when things are, they're not tight in the arms. It was everywhere on this dress is just super comfortable and it just like fits me like the best glove I could ask for. Um, I do believe I um, ordered a 2X from them. Um, this is my first purchase, but I definitely can tell I'll be purchasing a lot more. The quality is excellent and I can't not want to support ethically made um, alternative babes, so this will definitely be a company you will see again from me. That is my lookbook. Took me like 30 minutes to film this talking head portion and a month to film all the little vignettes. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at my favorite fashion moments from this winter. I will see you next time. Bye!